Find the general solution to the differential equation y double prime of theta plus 16y theta equals secant of 4 theta. So as always, we use our homogeneous solution, where we use the left-hand side, I'll get rid of the theta, equal to 0. And from there, we can create our auxiliary, or characteristic equation, where the power of r is equal to how many primes there are. So y double prime is r squared plus 16 equals 0, since there is no prime here. And as you know, r squared equals negative 16, so that will give us a complex solution for our roots that r equals 0 plus minus 4i. Therefore, alpha equals 0, beta equals 4. So now we know our homogeneous solution equals e to the alpha t times c1 cosine of beta t plus c2 sine of beta t. Plugging in what we have for alpha and beta, e to the 0 is 1, so we just are left with cosine of 4t plus c2 sine of 4t. And this is important because we need to find y1 and y2 to evaluate our particular solution, where y1 is cosine of 4t and y2 is sine of 4t. So y particular equals v1 y1 plus v2 y2. And we're going to use the Ronskian approach because it's better than system of equations in my opinion, where v1 equals negative integral of y2 f of t over Ronskian, where f of t is the right hand side. v2 equals integral of y1 f of t over Ronskian. And you just have to memorize these two formulas here. And we know that Ronskian in linear algebra is used to find out whether two functions are linearly independent. So we need to find the derivatives of them. And with the determinant, y1, y2 prime, minus y1 prime, y2. So y1, we said, was cosine 4t. And y2 equals sine of 4t. Taking their derivatives, that's negative 4 sine 4t. And for y2 prime, that's simply 4 cosine of 4t. Plugging that into Ronskian, y1 cosine 4t, y2 prime 4 cosine of 4t, minus y1 prime negative 4 sine of 4t, y2 sine of 4t. So multiplying that, we have 4 cosine squared of 4t plus 4 sine squared of 4t. And from the trig identity, where sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, we can factor out the 4. to just be ron skin equals 4 times 1. So ron skin equals 4. Now back to v1, we say that v1 equals negative integral of y2 sine of 4t times f of t, which was secant of 4 theta, but we'll just let t equal theta because it's easier to work with t, and we'll plug in theta at the end, and we put that over our ron skin of 4 dt. So this equals negative 1 fourth integral of sine 4t over cosine 4t, since that's the inverse of secant. So that turns into tan of 4t dt. And for the integral of tan of 4t, remember to bring out the coefficient of 1 over 4, so times 1 over 4. And it's easier to just memorize it instead of using some random trig property. It's negative ln absolute value of cosine of 4t. And rewriting, v1 equals positive 1 16th ln absolute value of cosine of 4t. For v2, that's equal to the integral of y1 cosine of 4t times secant of 4t over 4 dt. And look at that, they cancel. So that's equal to 1 fourth integral of dt, which is just 1 fourth t. That one was a little easier.
Now for y particular, looking back up here, it's v1, y1, or 1 16th, ln cosine of 4t. And putting that in parentheses, times y1 cosine of 4t plus v2, y2, which was 1 4th t times y2, which was sine of 4t. And unfortunately, nothing simplifies. So let me just rewrite that. And that's our particular solution. So as you know, y general equals y homogeneous plus y particular. So y gen, now we are using this solution up here. I'll start that out as c1 cosine of 4t plus c2 sine of 4t. This is going to be a little long. Plus our entire particular solution, 1 16th cosine of 4t ln absolute value of cosine 4t plus 1 4th t sine of 4t. And that is our answer. And if you want, since this problem asked it in terms of theta, let me rewrite that to be as p equals theta. I hope that made sense. If it did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.